Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa from the Blinus Library, and this is Otis, and he is here to help us today. We're going to do some games on paper, and all we need today for these simple activities is some paper and a writing utensil, a crayon or a pen or a marker or a colored pencil and your imagination. And we're going to get very creative and very silly. With our first activity, we're going to do a game called the Unusual Uses Game. Hmm. With this game, we are going to take a piece of paper and a pen, and with an adult's help, or an older sibling or a friend, we are going to make a list of some things around your house that are just common everyday objects. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, just something that we use every day. I mean, they are spectacular in their own way because they're so helpful and useful. Can you think of something useful around our house? Mm, let's see. Yeah. I know. What? Baby wipes. Baby wipes? If you have a baby, maybe it's a baby wipe. What's something else? Can you think of something? Oh, I know. Yeah, look around your Wait, house. No, 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 I know. What? Um, um, um. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard if you don't have the objects right in front of you. Here's the list we made earlier. Oh. We have a broom, a carrot, a ruler, a lampshade, a chair, a basket, and a bottle. And once you have a list of all the very helpful, useful things around your house, you can pick one and then think, make another list, or you can brainstorm out loud of all the things that you could do with that useful item in a very clever, creative way. Perhaps you would make a fort with some chairs. What else could you do with a chair? Maybe you could turn it into a train. If you have a bunch of chairs, you could line them up. What else could you do with a bottle? You could make a face out of it and put some tape. You could use it as a flower vase. You could use it to collect things like buttons. You could use it as a, put a message in it, have a message in a bottle. There's all different kinds of things that you could do with your bottle. How about a carrot? Let's get creative. You could make, you could turn it into a pen. You could take your, cre your carrot and dip it in some ink and use it to write a letter or draw a picture. You could create a carrot creature. You could use toothpicks for arms and paint some little eyes and a mouth on it. You could make a carrot car, <gasps> some buttons for wheels. Who knows? Or you could get really silly. Could you make carrot shoes? Hmm, I don't know how we would make carrot shoes, but if we keep using our, our imaginations, we could get pretty creative. For our next game, we're gonna use another piece of paper and a pencil and a pen. And there's actually two games with the same name, Combination Creature. You might have remembered we did this in a story time at last school year where we made a combination creature using two pieces of paper and we will show you how to do that. So you take some paper and you're going to cut down the middle then you're going to fold it twice so you have three parts to your paper. Then you're going to have someone draw on one paper and then another person draw on the other paper. You're going to draw a head on the top part of the paper and then just draw a little line down as you fold it so you can see where you left off. And the next, the middle part of the page, you're going to draw the body of a creature with a little line down and then fold it over and pass it on to the next person. And then you will draw the bottom of the creature, the feet. So then, once you pass it back and forth without seeing the creature, you're keeping it all folded up. Hey. You're going to unfold it to unveil your creature, your combination creature. And the next combination creature game is a little different. You're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to draw a line down the middle 
and you're going to write thing and another thing and you're going to make a list of all the things you can think of. And we came up with mango, cow, mouth, mirror, piano, spider, broccoli, little brother. On the other side of the paper, you're going to make another list. We came up with house, tree, car, drink, bird, ghost, fish, bunny. You can come up with anything that you can think of. And once you have your two lists, you're going to match eat one word with another word to come up with some very interesting combinations like mango house, cow tree, mouth car, piano bird, spider ghost, and can you draw? Spider. Whoa, can you draw oh, some of these combinations? That. What would they look like? They might be kind of wild looking. What a fun game to stretch your imagination. Whoa, I had never thought of a mouth car before or a piano bird. Can you picture the bird's wings with piano keys? And maybe someone, another bird could come along and play the keys on the back of the bird. Okay, and there you have it. A few different ideas for some games on paper. If you have a rainy day or a smoky day and you're stuck inside and with some very simple, minimal tools and your imagination, you can come up with some pretty silly games around your house and with a willing partner. If you can find someone in your house to play with you, you can have the combination creature games and the unusual uses game. I can't wait to hear what kind of games you come up with in your house with some paper and some pens. Bye. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Until next time. Goodbye.